Hello friends, in the previous video, we learned the algorithm on how to draw a polygon on a canvas. In this video, we will learn how to code that out. So I have my project up and running. I have created a .js and a .css file. We will first create a component and then we will add some styles to it. So let's create our component. We'll call it drawing polygon and here we'll return a canvas we'll now add a class to it let's call it polygon container save this copy the style move it to dot css file We'll give it a width of 500 pixels, a height of 500 pixels, and a border, 2 pixels, solid, black. We'll go in our .js file and import this style. Now let's go to our app.js file and import this component. Save this and you'll see our canvas appearing on the screen. Now let's create a reference to this canvas. We'll call it canvas ref. Also, let's create a reference to the context of the canvas. We'll call it context ref. Let's add the canvas ref to our canvas. So now we have our canvas ref pointing to our canvas. Now on an initial render, what we want is the context of the canvas. So for that, we'll use the use effect hook and we want it to run only once so we'll add an empty dependency array here here let's first get our canvas after that let's add a width of 500 to it and a height of 500 to it Now let's get the context. And add some parameters to it. So we want we want rounded corners. If we want rounded corners, we can add line cap round. This is not necessary here, but still I am adding uh, a stroke style of black. So our lines will be black and the width of the line should be 5. Now assign our context graph to this context and save it. Now, what we want here is the point where we put when we click on the canvas we want, want the coordinates of the, those points so for that we'll create two more references we'll call one as start x and the other as start y So now on mouse down, we want to get these coordinates. So on our canvas, we'll use the on mouse down property and we'll create a function here called 
we'll call a function here called draw polygon. Mm -hmm. Let's create this function. It will automatically take in native event parameter. From this native event, we'll get the coordinates start x and start y. Let's set prevent default and stop propagation here as well to stop the propagation of the event to parent components. After this, let's get the start x and start y coordinates. So we will call it event dot client x. Native event dot client part. So we have our x and y coordinates. Now let's create our polygon. So let's say we want to create a polygon with each side length 100 and number of sides say 8. So in a previous video we learned that first of all after getting the coordinates we want to get a point at a distance r from the center where the coordinates are x comma y and what we learned is that r is equal to l by 2 divided by sine theta by 2 and the value of theta came out to be 2 pi by n. So let's first calculate theta. which will be 2 into pi by number of sides which is n here. Then we will also get the radius which is length by 2 divided by math dot sine theta by 2. So we have got the values of theta and radius. Now let's get the coordinates, let's move our context to this point. So for that we'll call context.current.move2. So we'll, uh, we'll move our start x ref to a distance r and our start y coordinate will remain same. Now the next step is to find points at a angle theta from this x-axis and uh, we know that the coordinates of these points would be x plus r cos theta comma y plus r sin theta and uh, moving forward for these points it would be x plus r cos 2 theta comma y plus r sine 2 theta and so on. So we will create a for loop. I will start from 1. I less than equal to sides, number of sides and I plus plus. We will create lines to these points. So we will call context ref dot current dot line 2 and the coordinates of these points will be start x dot current plus r radius into math dot cos i into theta comma start y dot current plus radius into math dot sign i into theta and then we'll stroke out these lines so we'll call context ref dot current dot stroke save this now let's 
click on the canvas so what i missed is using the dot current here we'll save let's try once more and we can see that the polygon is created and everywhere i click i can see our polygon created let me show you one more thing suppose i make the number of sides as 4 if i test it out i can see that a uh, square is created but it's tilted out so what do we need to do to make it straight so here if you see for our square our theta comes out to be 90 degree because 2 pi is basically 360 degree and the number of sides are 4 so our theta is 90 degree so according to the trick which we used we moved our context here and then after that each of the 90 degrees we plotted out our points so that's why our square came out in a tilted way if we want to make it straight we can add some angle to it to make the square straight so for that instead of moving our context at a distance r parallel to x axis what we could rather do is move it at a particular angle so that our square becomes straight so this angle comes out to be theta by 2 which is basically for the square it's 45 degrees so if you move our point at an angle 45 degree from the x axis and then start drawing the square you will get a straight one let's add angle theta by 2 to our initial point so we'll call radius into math dot cos theta by 2 and we'll also have to update our y coordinate we'll call radius dot math dot sine theta by 2 also let's add the same theta by 2 to our lines so we add theta by 2 here and we'll add theta by 2 here save it and now if we test it out and we can see that straight squares are getting added so that's how you create polygons on canvas that's it for this video see you in the next one thanks for watching